Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. So we're out on a bike ride today, about two-thirds of the way up Grizzly Flat Trail. The top of the trail is maybe another half mile, three-quarters of a mile up there. So yeah, back over here, this gully right here, it crosses the Grizzly Flat Trail down below here and then goes down into Stevens Creek Branch D. That's where the old road runs along there. And this gully is apparently pretty slide prone. In 2017, this section of road was pretty badly eroded. So yeah, they had a couple of truckloads of boulders hauled in and then they hauled them down here and put them in there as riprap. And there used to be a geocache someplace over there and I think it is gone now. It was apparently in a tree and the tree went down the hill and that geocache has been uh, archived, I guess they call it. But anyway, there is a road down here. Let's go up here. I'll show you where it is. The uh, hillshade map shows it coming right up to the Grizzly Flat Road, but I don't know if it came up in that slide area or what. So right down there, you can see this really big tree and running right along the base of that tree is a road and apparently this road continues on and ends up down at the bottom of the canyon. I've got about 15 minutes today so maybe I will make my way down there. I don't think I can get very far but just to get a feel for what this road is like. Let me turn on my uh, GPS tracker and we can record this route and I'll see where I get to. Okay, yeah, this road's in pretty decent shape. A lot of down trees, but it's not really overgrown too bad anyway. This is looking kind of promising. Yeah, there's a a bunch more trees there either looks like you can go over and around the downhill side yeah so i'll fire up the camera when i decide to turn around see how far i get here well i think i'm going to turn around here in a congested spot up there a lot of down trees and some brush and i've got a, about enough time to turn around and head back up here but uh, yeah i think this road looks Looks like it's in really great shape. Yeah, it's been a long time since it was used. But yeah, you can see back up here the direction I came from. Yeah, I think this road is worth a return visit. So this road looked really promising on the hillshade map, but it's really hard to tell if the road is actually passable or not. To some roads that look really good on the map are just so overgrown that you can't make your way down there but this one is not too bad now it might get worse as it goes on this road goes for probably another half mile at least it's a long road and it goes clear down to the bottom of the canyon i've got this point and the track marked on gaia gps i'll See if I can compare that to the hillshade map and see how far I got here. So according to the hillshade map, this road goes down a ridge down into the Branch D Canyon, or at least one of the tributaries. And the 1897 road comes up Branch D and there's probably 500 feet, maybe 200 yards between where you can see the 1897 road and where this road goes. And then there's also a couple other roads. There's another road that comes down from the, another ridge. So there's basically three roads coming together in the same spot. And it would be really surprising if they didn't connect up. Because that's the thing. You don't just build a road down to the bottom of a canyon for the fun of it. I mean, you, you're building this road to go down 
to connect to something. There's a road going up that way to the ridge, up to the modern Highway 35. There's this road that comes down from Grizzly Flat Road, and then there's the road that comes up Stevens Canyon, and they all get within a couple hundred yards of each other down there. This might be the way to get down there. It might disappear or get overgrown so bad at some point, but uh, right here, it's not looking too bad. I will have to come back and check this one out, but it's getting late today, so I am going to head back up that way and get on the bike and head home. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little short trip down this old road. I'm not sure how old this road is. It's not on any map and not sure what it was for, but uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And as always, thanks for watching.